Hey, boys and girls, this is a happily ever laughter book called Cinderella Bigfoot by Mike Thaler. Cinderella Bigfoot. Once upon a time, about 8.30 in the land of make-believe, there lived a girl named Cinderella. Now, there were a lot of funny-looking people in the land of make-believe, but Cinderella was the funniest. Her most outstanding feature was her big feet. When she stood up, she looked like a seaplane. <laughs> Cinderella lived with her beautiful stepmother and her three beautiful stepsisters, Weenie, Whiny, and Mo. She also had a beautiful stepcat, a stepdog, and a stepladder. The size of Cinderella's feet caused her many problems. She bounced off the ceiling in ballet class. She always lost at hopscotch. And she had to buy a sock for every toe. Ouch! Wow! Wow! Woof! However, the worst problem for everyone else was that when Cinderella's bunions bothered her, she'd take off her shoes and leave them around town. The giant smelly shoes would block doorways, stop traffic, and take up four parking places at the mall. So when the king and queen of the land of make-believe gave a dance party, they naturally didn't invite Cinderella. What about Cinderella? No, uh, it just wouldn't be safe. On the evening of the ball, the stepsisters stepped into their party dresses. Isn't it exciting, said Weenie. Tonight the prince will choose a bride, said Whiny. I hope it's one of us, chirped Mo. But Cinderella wasn't much interested. She was trying to remember where she had left her other sneaker. Soon it was time to leave for the ball. Goodbye, twittered Cinderella's stepmother. Goodbye chattered Weenie, Whiny, and Mo. Where can it be? As soon as they were gone, Cinderella put up her feet and turned on her favorite TV show, Lifestyles of the Royal and Famous. Suddenly, a cow wearing a blonde wig and a pink tutu appeared on top of the TV. Would you please move your tail? asked Cinderella. You're blocking the screen. I'm Elsie. Your dairy godmother, replied the cow, and I'm here to send you to the ball. I wasn't invited, said Cinderella. The cow waved her golden wand. Just then, an invitation dropped through the mail slot. Voila! I don't have a thing to wear, whined Cinderella. Elsie waved her golden wand, and Cinderella was suddenly wearing a glamorous, glittering gown. I can't find my other sneaker, sniffled Cinderella. The cow twirled her wand. On Cinderella's feet sparkled two glass slipper sneakers. Backstroke! I don't have a carriage, moaned Cinderella. Take the bus, said her dairy godmother, handing Cinderella some change. Thank you, dairy godmother, said Cinderella, and she turned to leave. One more thing, said the cow. You have to be back before the clock strikes 12. Sure, sure, said Cinderella. Bye. When Cinderella arrived at the ball, everyone pointed and said, Who's that funny looking girl? Prince Smeldard, who was quite funny looking himself, raised his head from the punch bowl and sputtered, Who's the doll? Want to dance? Let's trip the light, fantastic big boy, said Cinderella twirling. Ouch, said Smeldon. You stepped on my foot. And the two began to dance. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Uh, maybe we better set this one out, howled Smeldon, hopping up and down. And just then the clock struck 12. Time goes fast when you're having a ball. shrieked Cinderella. But who are you? cried Smeldred, rubbing his feet. I'm late, she replied. 
That's a funny name, said Smeldon. Who wasn't too swift? What's your address? What's your phone number? What's your sign? But Cinderella was gone. She'd left behind one glass sneaker, size 87 triple A, that blocked the doorway so everyone had to leave through the back door. I'm going to find that girl, vowed Smeldred, using a tow truck. He hauled the sneaker to every maiden in the kingdom, and each girl would put it on one foot, then two feet, then both hands. Finally, Smeldred arrived at Cinderella's house. Weenie sat in the sneaker. It fits, she shrieked. Next, said Smeldred. Then, Weenie and Moe stood in the sneaker together. It fits, they shouted. Next signed Smeldred, feeling a little discouraged. Voila! Just then, Cinderella lumbered into the room. Oh, there's my other sneaker, she cried and slipped it on. Everyone stared at Cinderella's foot. It fits, they gasped. Will you marry me? said Smeldred, throwing himself at her feet. Only if you'll marry me, replied Cinderella. The prince grabbed a donut and put it on her finger. Then they rushed out the door to live happily ever after. <coughs> well, at least the prince will be our stepbrother-in-law, cried Weenie, Whiny, and Moe. Yeah, but it's going to be hard to fit Cinderella's shoes, sighed their mom. Poor babies. And just then, Elsie appeared on top of the refrigerator. The shoe must go on, she uttered in a wink, and poured them each a glass of milk. The end. This book is called Cinderella Bigfoot. I hope you loved it.